Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I am back with a chat video. It has been, I'm gonna say a month and a half. The last one I did was on Father's Day, and so this one's actually gonna go up. I normally put them up on Sunday, but this one's gonna go up on Monday. Um, how have you guys been doing? I feel like it's been a while since I <laughs> we have kind of, I've shared stuff with you to chat about. Obviously, it's been a month and a half. Everything is going pretty good in my life right now. I do have Chanel in my lap, so if it looks like I'm petting a dog, I'm petting a dog. <laughs> and um, just, um, I was gonna go ahead and show her. Coco is at the vet right now. As far as I know, everything is okay. She's just been licking her back left foot obsessively for a few days. And she had, she, of course, the morning I take her, she um, hasn't licked it all this morning. So um, I looked it up and it seemed like it could be sort of like an allergy or an infection, but I mentioned it to um, a couple of other people and they said she's probably got an injury because that's what it was when they've heard about it or, or their dogs had the same situation. So um, just thought, you know what, I'm, you know, she can't tell me if she's hurting or not. She walks just fine. She acts just fine. It's just that she's licking that back left foot a lot. So, um, Chanel is a little down right now. She's not acting her normal self because Coco's not here. And, um, so I'm trying to give her some extra petting this morning <laughs> and until we go pick Coco up. But Chanel's going to have to stay here because I am not going to deal with her when I go pick Coco up because neither one of them likes to be there. So anyway, how have you guys been doing? Um, let's see. I just thought I would quickly jump in and talk a little bit about eBay. I have sold 12 items since my last video. Was it, excuse me. That's not correct. I misspoke since my last chat video. I just counted them up. So I last filmed on, it was really um, um, June the 16th because my video went up on June the 17th, I think. And I counted, so I've sold 12 eBay items since then. And that's not too bad in a month and a half. I mean, I remember one week, I think I did well over 12 items in a week before, but it is what it is. But I am thrilled that stuff keeps selling. I did sell a Goodwill item. I feel like, oh, I've sold two Goodwill items that I picked up and thrilled about that. I definitely don't think the way the current eBay situation is that it's, it's not working for me as someone who thrifts and then resells. Um, I, I feel like it might have worked better a couple years ago or even way before that, but this year with all the changes that eBay has made, it's just, you know, not, not working out that well. So I have no plans to do any more thrifting and putting on eBay uh, as of right now. I will tell you guys that. I still have the eBay store. I was going to cancel it, um, but since I did a one-year contract, subscription, whatever it's called, subscription, I guess, they were going to charge me an early cancellation fee that was pretty hefty. And so I was just debating back and forth. I still have um, a well over the amount of items that you get free without a store. And so I would still end up having to pay for those plus pay for the cancellation fee. So I, I just kind of made a decision. I don't know if it was the right decision or the wrong decision just to keep the store up through um, the full 12 months. So anyway, um, if any of you guys are still selling, how are your sales going? Um, but you know, I'm thrilled with the 12 sales. I did do another closet purge and I put a lot of things on um, eBay and Facebook. I have had one question about some items on Facebook and nothing after that at all. But just one question, so it's not, it, it's not a whole lot of trouble to put stuff on Facebook, but it does take extra time and it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And so I, do, I just don't know. I know that people list stuff constantly and I feel like it just gets pushed down. And if it doesn't go quickly, I, I don't know. Um, I have put it, you know, I haven't put anything on Instagram in a while. I may try that on. I did start like a separate Instagram page for just selling stuff, which I think that's a better idea because it keeps it off your normal Instagram page. But, um, 
and that didn't work either <laughs> so uh, eBay's the one that seems to work the best for me but it's just real as you guys know that are selling regularly um, you probably know as well that it's just not going well this year with all their changes but anyway I am thankful for each and every item that sells and um, again did another closet purge I went also this was just in the clothes that I'm kind of wearing now. I also went through my sweater. I got a big plastic bin of sweaters. And I went through that and I picked out um, two sweaters that... Um, for whatever reason, I'll tell you. It's one of them, I loved the sweater. I loved the way it looked. It still fit well, but it itched so bad, or scratched so bad, or itched, whatever the right word is, so badly that I was just like, I will not wear this. As cute as it is, and I love the way it looks, I will not wear it. And it's not large enough for me to put like a long sleeve shirt underneath it. It's, um, <clears throat> Granted, if I would to lose a little bit more weight, it might be, but as of right now, it fit, but it was a little snug just on its own. So I was like, eh, you know, I'm not going to do that. And then I ended up buying another sweater a few months ago. It was an impulse buy. It was right before my trip. And I said, oh, I need... Uh, you guys may remember me talking about I had a bunch of casual tops, but a not, uh, not a lot of um, dressier tops or nicer looking tops. Um, I don't know if you guys remember me saying that. I think I said that. I know I told somebody that. I ended up getting this sweater, and it was an impulse buy. And it's really cute, um, but I tried to wear it one time. And why I threw the tags away and didn't return it, I do not know. But I um, put it on and then I put my arms down on a table and it literally, um, right where my elbow, the sweater was on my elbow, it was so, it was almost painful. Like the material was not even soft. It was rough material, almost like putting your arms down on sandpaper. And so I was like, mm, not dealing with that at all. And um, so I'm, I haven't listed those two yet, but they're both J. Crew, and I love the J. Crew brand. I've got so much J. Crew stuff, but not everything always works out with a particular brand. And then I ended up making a purchase. I'm not going to say who this is, um, because for various reasons, I feel like if you're going to say it's a small brand, and it's a very unique brand. Of clothing very unique and but because it's so small and some people love the brand I don't want to say anything negative because I just don't like the negativity whatsoever and I on one hand I feel like I owe you guys something and say this was terrible but on the other hand I was like I don't want to cause any damage to somebody's business because other people do like the brand and I also will say you have to decide for yourself and judge the brand for yourself if it's what you like and um, but regardless because it was such a it is such a small brand and it's very unique in what it sells that I'm choosing not to tell you the name of the particular brand but I ordered two items from this brand and I was very excited about getting it and then I put one of them on and I tried them on at home and I was like not in love with them but I wanted these items for a specific purpose <laughs> and I know I'm probably frustrating you guys right now but I just don't want the negativity out there um, if I name the brand so I um, I wasn't in love with the items when I tried them on. The fit was very poor. Granted, everybody's body shape is different. They fit me poorly. It was too tight in the hip area, too big in the waist area, but I was, and it just did not look good. So, but I wanted them for a specific purpose that it really didn't matter that you looked your best. So I, um, I ended up wearing one of the items and I had it on about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna tell you, it literally made me angry. <laughs> I was so uncomfortable and irritated in it. I mean, have you ever worn something that's just so uncomfortable? And the re I was irritated because number one, 
Um, they were overpriced for way overpriced for what they were, but I wanted to support the brand and I, d I did have a coupon code, but I, um, and I thought, well, if this is something that I'm going to love, I don't mind paying more for it. But for, and I, even if I would have loved it, let me say, let me back up a minute. If I would have loved the item and it would have been comfortable and it would have fit well, I wouldn't have cared about the price whatsoever. But for the price that it was and for the quality and the ill-fitting and the discomfort, not only did it fit me poorly, it was so uncomfortable. Oh, Chanel's jumping in my lap. She got an itch. <laughs> Um, so uncomfortable that I was literally getting angry wearing this item and I was like um, I was like well I can't return it because I weren't it was a very limited to reach they too do take returns but you can't have worn it and it still had to have the tag attached and I cut the tag off so I decided to um, list that one on eBay then I had the other one and it still had the tag attached but the shipping was going to be pretty hefty and I'd already had to pay shipping once and it's gonna be returned so I just decided to put those items on eBay and sell them but with that being said um, I have let me ask you guys this I have bought some stuff from some smaller unique brands in the past this be one of them and I have been so disappointed each time that I've done this uh, for various reasons and it has really thrown me off of doing that and I know I've got some friends out there that have brands and um, and let me tell you the, the those people I'm not even talking about those people <laughs> but um, it, it's kind of put me off a little bit and I hate to say that because I like to support smaller brands I think it's a great idea but when you keep getting a kind of like bitten <laughs> so to speak it's like I just don't want to continue to put money in that but that's not to say that I will never do it again because I will tell you I bought from Kosher Casual and it's a smaller brand and I absolutely love their skirts so that's not always the case sometimes it's just hit or miss and I understand that because certain brands are small that their return policies are not what Nordstrom can do or Anthropology can do different things like that so Regardless, I was just doing a lot of rambling right there. Um, anyway, uh, I know I mentioned the word negativity. I'm trying to segue into the positivity aspect of what's been going on. So there, um, I have been trying to live a much more positive life. As you can see, there have been a few negatives thrown in. Number one, the item that I bought <laughs> that was uncomfortable. But I am trying to live my life on a much more positive scale. And I am doing something Thing every single day I do it at least twice a day and I try to do it more and that is basically go through in my mind and list every single thing that I'm thankful for and um, I will tell you I started out with a bang and I was doing it really well and I was extremely sincere and that's not to say I'm not sincere all the time but I feel like if you just constantly list something I'm just listing and not really paying attention to what I'm saying. So for example, I'll go through and I'll start out and say, um, Lord, I'm thankful for my health. Something like that. I'm thankful for my life, my health, my, you know, I'll go through everything in my life. And um, I realized after a few weeks of doing this, I was just going through the motions of saying it. And I felt like my sincerity was diminishing a little bit and I felt like that the positivity was dimin diminishing a little bit and then it hit me this week what I was doing wrong I was like I was just going through the motions and I wasn't being um, in the moment so to speak I was sincere I was very sincere in what I was saying but I was just going through these motions of saying and listing things so back on I want to say Tuesday of this past week I was like oh my goodness I've been messing this up so now when I do it I want to really think about each and everything I list like I want to say Lord I am thankful for your the life you gave me and to say thank you thank you thank you for my life thank you for my health and just really put some emphasis in that and really believe 
um, and the thankfulness. And I, well, I started out by writing down every single thing that I was thankful for. And as I thought of more things, I would go and write those down. And then now I don't have to go back to their handwritten list. So I'm trying to be, I want to use the word sincere. It's, I feel like that's the wrong word to use because it makes it seem like when I I was always sincere in everything that I was thankful for, but I just ended up going through the motions and I didn't have that in the moment really thinking about the item. So, or whatever it might be, it doesn't have to be an item. Um, but thinking about that um, thing. And so um, I, you know, really decided to be more conscious in the moment and be more aware and truly say I'm thankful for everything. So that has really helped out with the positivity when you list every single thing that you're thankful for. And then when you get irritated or something, just go back through and say, I'm thankful for this, I'm thankful for that. And another thing that I have tried to start doing this one's a little bit more difficult for me just being open and honest with you guys and that is saying blessing other people and really giving them um, you know it's easy to do for somebody you like and where it becomes difficult is for somebody that you may not has you may not be as a big a fan of but one thing that I have learned in the past is um, not everybody is going to get along. You're not going to like every single person you come in contact with on a daily basis. But I have learned, and this has really worked for me, is in the past there was one particular person many years ago that for whatever reason didn't like me. I, don't, I still to this day don't know what that reason is. And then I started praying for her. And then it took about two years and then all of a sudden she had an attitude change. It wasn't all of a sudden, it was like two years later, but the attitude changed. And so I have, you know, said anytime that somebody irritates me now, and I'm, this is something I am working on. It's, it's not happening every single time, but I'm trying to be more aware and do this is say, Lord, bless that person. And um, whatever you need to insert in that prayer, um, do so. But just say, I bless you in Jesus' name. And then, um, you know, just... Um, Try to um, not get irritated. Try to be the best person that you can be and be the most positive person that you can be. Another thing that I've all also like to start doing it, and this came from, it's out of the Bible, but it came from, where it gave me the idea was from a book called um, Dr. Norman Benson Peel, The Power of Positive Thinking. He started out, he believes in starting out every morning by saying, um, this is the day that the Lord has hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And he said, say that three times and then say it throughout the day. And that has helped out a lot as well. So these are just things that I have been working on. And I will tell you, I have felt so much better. Um, that's not to say that negative things won't enter in and that... Um, things that irritate you don't enter in. They do happen, but I feel so, so much better. Another thing that also helps is I feel like to get into a quiet place or a place that is peaceful. Um, you may go into a, a room in your home, but if it's not a peaceful room, even if it's quiet, that may not be what you need. Um, me, I love to go um, to Radnor Lake in Nashville because if you're new to my channel, I live in Nashville, Tennessee. And so this lake is beautiful and there's so many animals out there. There's deer, I've seen deer, a possum, the poor possum was sick though. Um, birds, a fish here and there, some turtles, um, just um, chipmunks, uh, turkey, wild turkey. So there's just all kinds of animals out there. And that gives me just being out there in God's creation. That gives me so much peace in my life. And I just feel so great when I go out there. So that's what I like to do to be calm and just relax is just walk around out there. And that's not to say that you can't be calm and relaxed and feel peaceful in a like a room in your home. But sometimes I think it's um, whatever out there that is irritating, whatever is out there that may be causing you some unrest or um, discouragement, irritation, whatever. Sometimes it's good just to get out of your environment and go somewhere else. Or you may want to set up a room in your house that is peaceful. I would say get it devoid of clutter. <laughs> 
I am a messy person and a lot of times I can clutter up stuff. Well, that can cause, um, I feel like some not, it's not a peaceful place. And so you want to make something like a sanctuary to you. And uh, just, if you need to do so, make a room in your home where you can go back there and just relax. And what also is good, and I do have a lot of trouble with this. This was something else that Dr. Um, uh, Peel mentioned in his book. He did not use the word meditation, but that's what he was talking about. And he was talking about quiet your mind for at least 15 minutes of every day. And I have been on the struggle bus with that. I do struggle with that because I feel like my mind is constantly turned on and I can't quiet it. But I am working on quieting my mind, or if you would prefer to call it meditation, meditation. And um, I can do, a, I haven't gotten up to 15 minutes without thinking a single thought. I just, that is very difficult to do for me, but that is something that I am working on. But I am feeling so much better. Things are going really well. Um, so anyway, I thought I would just share that with you and hopefully those are some helpful tips that you may take away from it. And that's just basically write down everything you're thankful for, go through it several times a day. I like to do it at least in the morning and before I go to bed, but sometimes during the day I'll do it as well. Blessing people that irritate you. That's not to say you can't bless other people, but especially the ones that irritate you because I feel like that calms the irritation down and you won't be so upset. Um, find a relaxing, peaceful place. Um, Radder Lake happens to be mine, and I'm also getting exercise at the same time. And then um, try to do some meditation or quiet your mind. That one's a difficult one. Um, let's see what else. Oh, also trying to get more exercise. Coco Chanel and I are getting a lot more exercise, and um, I am working on trying to eat better. Uh, reduce my soda intake. I feel like this is, I, I am just a broken record on that this year in the past year as well. But um, it is something that I will forever probably be working on. I'm not going to say I will forever be struggling with it because I do want to conquer it, but I will be working on my health. I feel like that's something you do. You never reach a point where you go, okay, I'm here, I made it, um, and you don't, you just stop working. That is not the case. So, it needs to be a lifestyle change. So I am working on doing better. I, I do mess up every week, but um, I just jump right back there and do it some more. Let's see. Um, I have messed up with shopping. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm, I shouldn't be pointing the finger like this. I should be doing it at me, wagging my finger at myself. Um, I did buy some stuff. Um, I showed you the new shoes, which I absolutely love, and I do need to do a review on those, a, a more in-depth review. Um, I did buy some stuff at the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I haven't received everything yet. They've been holding it... Um, close to two weeks. I don't know what is going on. I ordered a couple of items um, like two weeks ago, a week and a half. I'm not sure the exact time. I still have not received those yet. I got some items from Anthropology. They had a 20% discount. So yeah, I've done some shopping. I do think I have a shopping addiction and um, I'm not as bad as some people that I've seen on TV before or even some people that I've seen on YouTube. Definitely not as bad as a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube. I have to say that to make myself feel a little bit better, but I love to shop and that is something that I am struggling with not doing it. I'm, I failed my mission, so to speak. I said I wasn't going to shop. I, I don't know when I said this, but I said I wasn't going to shop to September. I have failed miserably. Um, I did good for a while, but um, not so good recently. Um, just like the Nordstrom anniversary sale happened, um, Anthropology had a 20% discount. And I, but when I do that though, the compromise <laughs> that I have made is to go and do a closet purge. And I said, if something comes in, something has to go out. So that is something that I have been doing. And I, I got a lot of stuff out of my closet. I do mean a lot. So I feel good about that. And so um, that's kind of one compromise that I've done on that. So anyway, um, just letting you know, uh, maybe doing a haul if my stuff ever comes in from Nordstrom and, um, let's see what else, what else, um, 
Anyway, I think that's a pretty good chat. I'm looking at the clock. Sorry for looking at the viewfinder on the side. I know that's irritating, but I'm, I'm getting close to 30 minutes or almost 25 minutes right now. Um, but anyway, um, everything is really going well. I just got to work on more things uh, to feel like I have a more uh, well-rounded life, but I am doing very, very well. And, you know, I'm, I'm still struggling. What I am struggling with is I still need to get more exercise. I, ha I am getting more, but I need to do more. I need to work on my eating and no soda drinking. And then I need to work on my shopping. I do, or, or not work on it to do more, but work on it to do less. But I will tell you this on one last note about the shopping. I have been very, very, very choosy with what I have picked. And this is stuff that fits, stuff that looks good, and at least I think it looks good. Some people may not like it, um, but stuff that I truly, truly love. There has been something on my mind. I haven't gotten it yet, and um, it has been on my mind for over a year. I feel like it's been close to two years, but it may have been just over a year. When time goes, it's kind of like I can't remember. Um, and it is still on my mind, and I have the opportunity to get this item, and I think I'm going to get it. So um, I just don't know yet. I'm still going. I go back and forth, back and forth. You know, one side of me is like, "Don't get it." The other side of me is like, "Well, you got the money. You can get it." You know, <laughs> type thing. So I, I don't know, but I am sincerely working on it, and um, I am very discriminating in what I buy. I mean, I will look at a bunch of stuff and then just cut, cut, cut. You know, like, where would I wear this? Um, would I wear it? Would I enjoy? It? Would I love wearing this? item. And so I am doing that so much more. So that is something that I have worked on instead of just buying just all kinds of stuff, bringing it in, doing a haul, and then it sits in my closet, which I have done that many years ago, but I am, I'm going to use the word discriminating against. I am way, oh, that's the vet calling for Coco. Sorry about the phone call. Um, uh, that was not the vet. That was uh, my mom calling, wanting to know if how Coco was doing. <laughs> um, she loves her grand dogs. Uh, her grand, she's my grandbabies. <laughs> um, but I was like, no, I haven't heard from them yet. So anyway, uh, what else? What else? Um, that made me lose all train of thought. But yes, I am working on my life, and I am looking internally. And one thing I heard an interesting quote um, in a YouTube video. And I'm just trying to think how am I going to work this quote in there. I don't feel like it fits with what I was going to say, but I will, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. But um, I am trying to look internally and fix myself and not worry about what is going on out here. You know, <laughs> worry about what's going on in here and in here. And um, it really look internally and fix this and um, not trying to be too concerned about outside forces. And the quote was, and it was from actually, I was watching um, a Zoella vlog, and she said that um, people judge you based on their opinion of you and not on who you really are. And I, I'm trying to think how I was going to work that quote. I felt like I had a good thought to work that quote in, but it's not really, not really where I wanted it. But I thought that was a pretty good quote, but I was thinking more to maybe to put that towards myself, um, is I need to judge myself and never anyone else <laughs> and, um, work on me. And I feel like that's kind of coming from what she was saying a little bit differently. But um, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of it um, uh, overall. And so I have done a, also, let's see what else. I did a little bit of yoga. Like um, I found a YouTube channel that does yoga. It's Cat, C-A-T. Then the last name is starts with an M. It's like meth, methin, methin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but, um, I did the beginner yoga class with her and then I tried to do another one and I didn't, en I enjoyed the first one really well. I didn't enjoy the second one, but I found the first, uh, the beginner one that she did very, very relaxing. So I did enjoy that. So I am trying to be an overall better person, just a well-rounded person. So that is what I'm working on lately. 
and I just thought I would share that with you guys. Um, this may not have been the, the most interesting video to you, but I just want, I had something on my heart that I wanted to share. Oh, one other thing. I thought uh, maybe I'll just, this is going to be a really long video, so why don't I just keep talking? <laughs> Um, I have also increased my giving. So that's another area is I wanted to be a more giving person this year. And giving does not always have to be monetary. You don't always have to give your money. But I have, I, one thing with, um, I'm not saying this to, to brag on myself or for you guys to think, oh wow, she's giving stuff. Um, but I feel like that is a wonderful thing to do. And I did want to do a separate video on giving, but I thought, let's just talk about it right now. And, um, you know, I, I enjoy giving, um, whether it be Christmas presents for different people. I enjoy buying the presents and I try to pick items that I think the person would like or that they've mentioned. And I like seeing that on other people's face. I get a lot of joy out of doing that. And then, um, you know, uh, baking for people. I love to bake. So maybe baking some cookies and giving them some cookies or something like that. Love doing that. I also give monetarily as well. I will never tell up here what I give because I think that is completely wrong. Um, the Bible even says, you know, not to brag about what you're giving and to do it kind of in secret. So, you know, I'm not saying, again, not saying this to brag on myself, and I'm not going to tell you what I give, but I have increased monetary givings, and I'm hoping other ways of giving as well, and maybe doing some more stuff that's in a, a servant, servant to, is that the right word? Being more of a servant and helping out and giving that way. I'm trying to do more of that as well. Well, and it just makes me feel good. And I also think it's it's helping other people out. So that's another area that I am working on as well. But I wanted to, if you got this far with me, one of the areas that I gave to, I'm not going to say what I gave, but one of the areas that I gave to was a missions work in Guatemala. And it's called Home International. And it's basically, it's the same denomination that I belong to. It's the United Pentecostal Church. And um, th they are these missionaries over there that have opened these orphanage, it's an orphanage in Guatemala for these homeless children that there's so many homeless children in Guatemala that are just living on the streets. And they have been abused mentally, physically, sexually, and they are taking children in and um, loving them, feeding them, clothing them, taking care of them, their physical needs, their medical needs, their spiritual needs. They're doing such a fabulous job on this. And I'm mean, going to link their website below. And I'm, I may still kind of want to do another video on the giving topic, but I just wanted to include it right here. But um, it is a great um, ministry, but if you want to consider it a charity as well, it's a great charity to give to. And it's one that um, the missionary came to my church a few weeks ago and was talking about this. And I just felt led to give to this particular um, um, organization or a group. And um, it just really touched my heart. So I wanted to share that with you. Go check their website out. I'll link it below. And if you feel like you can do something, please, um, it is a wonderful place to put some money towards because they are taking care of kids that basically have no parents anymore. Um, or their parents may be in prison, their parents uh, may have just dumped them. Whatever the reason, they don't have a family to live with and this uh, organization is taking them in and are doing great things with these kids. So um, check out their website if you want to. I would, I would really appreciate it and I'm sure they would as well. Um, no pressure for you guys, but if you are interested in increasing your giving, this is a fabulous place to do it uh, for. And I don't think it's as well known, especially not outside of my church organization. And even within the organization, it may not be that well known. So it just really, really touched my heart. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, anyway, I keep looking down at Chanel because she was um, just getting a little sleepy, weren't you? I think she's a little bit depressed since Coco's not here. She's not acting like her usual self, but um, one more shot of her, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. It has been a long one. It's probably going to be close to 35 minutes or over that. I'm not sure now, um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and say bye for now. I'm not sure when I'll do another chat. I am, you know, tr I'm 
thinking about videos that I want to do, but um, I am, you know, pulled back on the YouTube videos for the past few months, but it has helped me out um, uh, mentally not to have to worry about trying to get videos up when I'm extremely busy with another project. So um, anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. Bye-bye, guys.